Hello everybody, my name is Marlow and welcome back to the Ripple Effect server where I have no idea <laughs> what is going to go on in this video. I don't know what episode number it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a full episode, it might be a bonus episode, it might not even make it into a video altogether and it's a bit all up in the air at the moment and that is because it's going to be revolving around this box right here that was badly lined up. Um, so if you don't already know, this is Orbney's spoil container for February, if it will open. There we go. <laughs> and as opposed to recent uh, months, this, instead of a bunch of goodies, is actually a game for those of us who are subscribed to play. Um, it's based on the game Assassin. I've never heard of it. I may even be remembering the name wrong. Hopefully not, otherwise I look like a bit of a moron. Um, but yeah. Basically, we have to shoot each other with arrows, <laughs> um, is, is the game, kind of, not really at all. That's the completely oversimplified and not useful information. So let's actually read this book, but at the same time, I'm going to keep my eye on that portal right there, just in case anybody comes through it. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. FYI, I am terrible at reading. I will probably need to make several cuts, so... Yeah, hopefully I can actually read this and make sense of it. Um, for this month, we decided to make things a bit different and set you out on a quest to find true love. As you all know, it is important to love and to be loved by others, but we often neglect the most important person, ourselves. Very true, Orbney. Words of wisdom. And so, for this month, every participant has a very important mission. Through the use of some very complex algorithms, reliable algorithm for non-discriminatory, <laughs> oh, struggling already, optimal matchmaking. I, th I think that might stand for something. Not going to look too much into it. I'm sure it's very high tech. Um, you have been assigned a target that you must help to fall in love with themselves. To do so, everyone has been given a copy of Cupid's bow and a bunch of Cupid's arrows and a mask of their target, which is in the box. Um, your mission is to shoot that person with Cupid, one of Cupid's arrows while wearing their face, basically. Um, when wearing a mask of their face, yes, they're wearing their head, okay. Uh, when you manage to shoot, find and shoot your target, their target becomes your target and you can grab all of the masks they have collected so far. So we will be able to take whoever they've shot so far, basically. Um, however, if your Cupid finds you, you will have to give them the mask you have collected so far. If you manage to collect everyone's masks, uh, including your own, you will be able to use those masks to find, finally find true love on the form of a super awesome, super secret treasure hidden away somewhere in the world. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm not used to reading this much. I'm usually cut by now and stop talking. Uh, also, to help get you in the romantic mood, you can listen to some fancy waltz. That's why Mellow High is in there. Um, so here are the rules. Use Cupid, Cupid's bow. No problem. Use his arrows. Okay. Uh, don't kill your target. Watch out for lava of the void. Lava and or the void. Uh, of course, we're all nice on this server. We're not going to purposely kill each other. Right, guys? Right? <laughs> um, keep all your heads you collect. Please do not lose them. I'm going to keep my box over there and, yeah, just put them in there if I get any. Uh, your head collection needs to be easily accessible with the time. If you get caught, you lose. Uh, yep, you lose and need to give all the heads you have collected to the person who caught you. I read that in a strange way. Um, and here is what is in the box. So the reason I don't know what's going to go on in this episode is because... I, I may get shot before um, <laughs> I shoot anybody, so my target is Carl, but say for instance while I was reading that, Jimbo came through the portal and shot me, I would be out of the game, so that's why I don't really know what's going to go on, but I'm going to try my best to actually survive a bit. I'm going to try and be quite vigilant whenever I'm logged on, I have been on for quite a while, well, 15 minutes maybe, and Jimbo hasn't come and shot me yet, so fingers crossed it's not Jimbo, I'm, I'm going to cross him off the list, or maybe do a half cross. Maybe, maybe it's not him. Um, I need to figure out who, who is involved in this game. So yeah, Carl is our target. Um, I haven't actually seen Carl online for like at least a week. <laughs> so it may, it may be a bit difficult. I, I log on at weird times and I, I'm going to try and keep a, keep an eye out for him. And hopefully we can actually, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe he'll get at least one arrow shot before we're shot. Uh, my target was Magoo, but he's left for some reason. I, I don't know why, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know what the next step is. I guess we just got to look out for Carl. 
Maybe I'll put the mask on, see if it fits me well. Oh, yes, it's perfect. Okay, so we are currently over at Carl's base and now he's not online. It's not long after I just recorded that clip, but I thought maybe we would, you know, come and do a bit of scouting, see if we can discover any secrets. Looks like some sort of horror show in there. Don't He's probably hiding something. Uh, yeah, see if there's anywhere he can sort of run away from. I nearly just opened that. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, I'm assuming that's his container. So yeah, let's not cheat. Um, that was actually quite close. <laughs> I was like wandering up to open that then. Um, okay, yeah, so so where, where can he hide? He's, he's got this big, wonderful mansion here. Lots of hiding space in there, many rooms, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I mean, really the main reason I'm here is to just put a sign down to scare him a bit. <laughs> um, no other reason. I'm not sure where I should put it, though. I need to pick a nice spot, preferably away from the box so he doesn't think, like, Albany put it there or something. Maybe we'll put it in front of the sheep. Maybe, maybe we'll frame the sheep. So we'll just say something like, uh, well, something really broad and not specific thing we can say that might frighten him a bit. Um, always watching dot dot dot. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't really know what that could mean. I mean, really, you got to watch out for whoever's hunting you instead of the other way around, but I'm sure that might cause a little bit of confusion and his reaction <laughs> may be funny. Yeah, so... All right, back to the waiting game. Okay, everybody, we have a code green for go. Carl has... Ju well, Carl hasn't just come online, actually. I've just come online, and uh, Carl is online, too. He didn't wave hello so he may be afk or he may just be busy doing other things we're gonna go check out and see what's happening i'm on, I'm on my way back to the base now to put his skin on <laughs> sounds a little weird um but i also found out some valuable information and that is that i actually now know who the person that is targeting me is so i was doing a project away from the base when i needed to come back for resources and i'm not kidding i must have been back at the base for no more than two minutes. I ran up to my storage room, gra gla ugh, grabbed some glass, and came down the chute. I was about here. It was terrifying. <laughs> Never felt fear like it. About to walk into my portal, and a name just flashes up. Just a name. And then a body, and my face, <laughs> of course. Um, and then an arrow came flying at me, and I, I ran away. I came up here and flew off into the distance. Luckily, the person who was targeting me, didn't have an elytra on, so they didn't chase me. I, I flew around for several minutes <laughs> until they said, you know, I, I've stopped, you can calm down now, sort of thing. Um, so the person who is trying to shoot me with their Cupid's arrow is actually Bank. I, I don't know why, well, I guess there's no reason to suspect and not suspect anyone, but yeah, that's that's some valuable information right there. I now know when to be you know, more vigilant than when not to be, when Bank's online and when he's not. <laughs> and right now he's not, and Carl is, so I've got a perfect opportunity to at least help me get one arrow before dying. Uh, it was it was really quite scary. I, <laughs> I think we scared each other because he wasn't expecting me to be, like, right in his face, and I certainly wasn't expecting him there either. But anyway, let's... Uh, I'm probably just going to do this and switch my arrows out just so I don't accidentally shoot the wrong thing. We need Carl's head. Let's put that on. Now, I don't want to get my hopes up too much because if he is AFK, I'm not going to be a non-gentleman. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot him while he's not at his computer. Um, so I'm just, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I don't often do stuff like this. So my hands are a bit shaky, a bit sweaty. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Okay, that was a shorter tunnel than I remember it being. Um, <clears throat> so he has two portals. Do we want to go to the garden or the mansion? I I think maybe the garden? And... Oh, you know what? Actually, two seconds. Let me just check something. Uh, okay, good. I can use my elytra. I was a bit worried I just didn't read a rule there saying no elytra. I can read, correct? It's not there. 
No, okay, <laughs> good. I didn't want to go flying around in case that was a rule that I just didn't pay attention to. All right, I'm, I'm really scared. Uh, let's get these on the hotbar. Let's get the stack, actually. Cupid's bow, Cupid's arrows, nothing else. Got the face on. I'm, I'm ready, <laughs> I, I think. Oh, God, I'm really scared. I don't know what to expect. Okay, okay, we're in. I'm going to head straight off into the trees. See if I can see a name tag anywhere. I see him. He's there. Look. Oh no. Oh no, he sees me. Does he? Oh, this is so tense. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's just take the long way around. Oh god, I don't, I don't want, I need the element surprise, that's why Bank didn't get me, because I saw him coming, well I didn't see him coming, I saw him appear in front of me. Okay, there he is. Oh Carl, you're so unsuspecting. He's coming out the door. Okay, there he is. Oh my god, he's looking in this thing right now, hang on. No! Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, I got him! I can't believe it! <laughs> oh. Hello there! What do I do now? I forgot. Do I, t I take the heads or something? <laughs> I feel so bad. What if that was like the first time he was checking his, his box? <laughs> Oh no, it was. <laughs> no. Oh god. I feel bad. <laughs> oh. At least you love yourself now. Right? That, that was the aim of the game, I think. Oh, who is it? Is that Croc? That's Croc. Should be interested. <laughs> so there we go. One target down, and I really do feel quite bad for Carl because he didn't even get a chance to read the book. In hindsight, I probably should have waited a little bit longer. He may have been recording, he may have not. It may literally have been the first time he opened the box. I honestly have no idea. Uh, I do feel really bad, but Carl's a good sport. I'm sure he won't mind. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say apart from that. Uh, thank you for being a good sport though, Carl. I, I do appreciate it. I, I'm sorry you didn't get to actually sort of start of the game. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, on to the next target. Croc 17. So, it has been a little while since I've recorded anything. To cut a long story short, basically, I am eliminated. Jimbo actually shot me yesterday as of recording this, so... He has taken, well, well, he already had my head, he's taken Carl and Croc from me, so yeah, if you want to see how that all went down, you're going to have to go to Jimbo's channel, because I was not recording. <laughs> um, I'm assuming he was, was, I'd be very surprised if he wasn't, um, and I'm sure it's some very entertaining footage, <laughs> especially from his point of view. Uh, I'll sort of explain what happened in a bit, maybe I can give you a reenactment between my, myself and I. Um, but I'm actually not too bummed out about being eliminated, and I will get into that reasoning right now. Don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just flying around. Um, basically, at the start of this month, when Albany had his idea for this, he pretty much said everybody who was a subscriber to his... Oh my god, what are they called? Not loot boxes, I always want to call them loot boxes. I will have to put someone on the screen. I've completely forgotten. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, subscribe to his thingy. Um, ask them if they're going to be, you know, like at least a little bit active on the server in the month of February. Otherwise, it's a little bit unfair on <laughs> whoever you're trying to hunt down or whoever is hunting you down. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to be here. Don't worry. Um, I knew I was going away for like four days. It's Hang on, why is there two? Okay, I, I'll i look at that in a second. Um, <laughs> that, I, I don't know. Um, I knew I was going away at some point in February on like a little sort of week, long weekend trip. 
um, to Switzerland slash Germany. I had a very nice time, other than the fact that I got ill on the last day, which knocked me out cold for like a week. I got a chest infection, which got really bad, and I thought I had pneumonia at one point. It was, it was a whole thing. I'm fine now. <laughs> Um, but it's taken me like two weeks to turn my computer on. So basically, I felt kind of bad about not being logged in for that long. And I was like going to message Orbney if I, you know, didn't keep coming online to tend to sort of like pull my name because I felt bad for bank. <laughs> um, had that whole time when I just sort of disappeared. Um, I'm sure he doesn't mind. It's only a game, but it's it's sort of like a little bit of weight lifted off my shoulders. Um just, I, I don't feel pressured to <laughs> lock onto the server. Not that I should. I know I shouldn't, but... And nobody else really cares apart from me. Probably not. But, uh, yeah. In a way, I'm kind of glad. But I want to figure out... Uh, by the way, it was a bunch of fun what I did actually play of this. But this, I know what's in here. Yeah, we got a free Magoo head, which I am very happy about. <laughs> um, but I don't know what this is. Hold up. Hang on. This is... I think I know what this is. <laughs> this is potentially Jimbo's that he forgot. Maybe. If I could open it again and have another look. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, it's it's the same book. Yeah, I, I think Jimbo might have left his, uh, left his box here. So that means he might have started with Billy and shot... I know he shot Bank because Bank was shooting me. And then me, and then Carl was mine as well, and I also had Croc. Okay, this may be Jimbo's. Jimbo, you left your box here, I think. Maybe. I don't really know. Um, yeah, so let me actually sort of give you a rundown of how, how the little chase between me and Jimbo went. Okay, so I was down that tunnel there. I'm not going to walk down because it's very thin and awkward to get down an up tunnel, but I was pretty much just digging a hole for no real reason. I might do something with it in the end of this episode I don't know I just felt the need to come on and <laughs> do something so I dug a hole uh yeah so I was I was digging away with my haste too chilling out um and then I get a message from Jimbo who says uh what are you working on and I wasn't really too suspicious of that um he's asked before I get you know he's making conversation I don't think twice about it and then I remember that uh the whole cupid thing's going on so, I don't know why I'm going up here. This is not part of the demonstration. Okay, close your eyes. You're not meant to be seeing this. Um, and so I'm like, why do you ask? Hmm? And he's like, just wondering. I'm like, okay, okay, Jimbo. Whatever you say. And I'm like, sounds like something Cup Cupid would say. And he laughs. And I'm like, ah, he, he doesn't. He's fine. He's not hunting me down. Um, so I carry on digging for like a minute or so, and I'm like, mm, just in case, <laughs> let's uh, let's put my electron and go for a fly out here. Yep. So I put my electron, and oh god, Ugh. still don't really like going out of there. And I came out of here, and I flew over my house. I was sort of just scouting the island, looking for him. Did a turn around here. What bam? He was there, shifting, trying to find me. Um, so I had a split second decision of, I can either a just fly for the hills <laughs> or uh, try and mess with him a bit <laughs> and I went for option B he may have even already heard slash seen me uh, fly over but I land on this building and he looked at me so I gave him a little squatting action and taunted him a bit and uh, <laughs> so we had a bit of like a dog fight in the air well I say dog fight he was shooting me and I was running for my life or, or, well, not for my life, he wasn't trying to kill me. <laughs> um, and then I did some A-class maneuvers, not really. I don't really know if he was even close to me or not. And then I went in the waterfall, did a little fly around in there, uh, which potentially was my downfall, because when I came back out, I had lost him. <laughs> so I flew up to the top of the CN Tower here, and like so, except probably cleaner than this. Uh, and then I landed... Not like that. Okay. Okay. Let's just say we landed here. Um, and so I'm shifting, you know, I'm, I'm trying trying to look out for him, see where he's gone. Oh, except I'm high. There we go. There's Jimbo. Perfect. We got a, someone to play you, Jimbo. Looks just like you. I should run. Um, and then he came and shot me without me realizing. So, yeah, uh, that's how I went out. It will probably be a lot more exciting from Jimbo's point of view, so I would recommend uh, going to look at that because that reenactment was probably difficult to imagine if you weren't actually there. 
Oh, okay, much better. Feeling feeling refreshed. Um, we should probably do something else with this episode. Honestly, I don't know how long it is. I'm too lazy to cut my record and have a look. Um, but I, I kind of just want to do a project down here and not really worry about recording. I know that's basically what I do with all of these things, just with huge jump cuts. Except this time, I think I'm just going to do one in its entirety. Uh, that's probably something down there. I haven't figured out what. I'm literally just digging a hole for no reason. Um, <laughs> just just something to do. Um, but the reason I'm not going to record this really is because the upstairs of the island, the, the surface level, is actually like nearly done. There isn't really too much left to do. I could probably dedicate an episode to it and sort of finish it all up and maybe like a couple more builds and then it's just sort of greenery uh but down here we've got like seven or eight shoot off section things to fill out so i don't really want to have like five episodes in a row dedicated to just farms underground i think it'll be a little bit boring so i'm probably gonna do some stuff off camera i mean as long as i show you right it afterwards it's cool um I, I guess so, I don't know. I'm I'm making the executive decision here and I'm just gonna do an off-camera project. Uh, yeah, this is how big I'm gonna do the hole, only because the sea level is like right here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do something off-camera and hopefully it's something of interest that I can show you afterwards. Hello, hello, how are we all? I hope we're all good. Uh, it's been a little while for me since I've recorded uh, probably about three weeks. I am feeling much better now, thankfully. Well, I have been for a couple of weeks now, but uh, yeah, I've just been sort of playing on the server here every now and again. Uh, I have done something down here, which is hopefully of interest, <laughs> um, which I'm going to show you now. But yeah, I've been I've been busy and I uh, haven't had much time to play, but I did do a project and it's fully done. I literally just finished it. Um, I'm trying to, I, there are more things I kind of want to do with this before I show you. Um, not sure what exactly, but I'm trying to get this episode edited or finished, edited, rendered, and uploaded by tomorrow. Can you believe it? An episode that comes out without having to wait a month <laughs> after rendering for, com uh, for it to come out. Insane, I know. Um, the next episode of The Ripple Effect, though, is going to be one that I recorded, like, over a month ago. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is what I've done. It's, uh, it's very artificial looking world with a barn. Uh, don't really like it too much. I wanted to do something a bit cooler with the like sky, <laughs> but uh, I, I couldn't be bothered to try hard. I just want the main focus to be this barn door, which I actually think looks kind of cool. I wish it was a little brighter up there. See, this like the nitpicky things that I wish were just a little bit better. I uh, even got a little pond here made of glass. Uh, yeah. Don't like the carpets either. Uh, anyway, so what I have done is something that is entirely useless to me. <laughs> I have literally just built it for the sake of it. There is no rhyme or reason as to why I've done it. Um, pretty much, I have made a carrot. No, nope, wrong chest. Potato. Wheat. <laughs> I don't know which chest they go to. Uh, Sugarcane. Melon. That's pumpkin, but there are some melon slices in there for some reason. Getting some lag. Wonderful. And melon is the other one, which we have a mass amount of. In fact, probably too many, really. Um, but I have had the, the ability to switch pretty much all of these farms off. Well, not these three, but these three I have. So I may as well... This is not the way to get through. Oh, yeah. And in here, I know it's really plain. Um, I kind of want to do something with the ceiling. But I, ha I have no idea what. So if you have any ideas, you can actually let me know and I will be able to read them and, imp uh, you know, do something about it instead of having to wait like several months to, uh, yeah, <laughs> to take action. Uh, but anyway, let's show you the farms. So the Melon and Pumpkin are the smashers from, I believe it's Mazuma Games is the guy who came up with these. Um, it's the same design as I use for the Baking with Marlow episode where we built the pumpkin pie room which I've basically fully destroyed now. <laughs> um, well, the uh, the inner workings of it, the kitchen and everything is still the same. But uh, yeah, it's the same design. I will leave a link in the description to this. It's very, uh, very cool. Um, the shoot cane here is actually mine though. I came up with this by myself. It's nothing, you know, revolutionary, but it's uh, 
it's kind of cool. I'm sure someone's thought of it before, but basically all these are slime blocks. They're controlled by one piston up and down, which all go to this source right here, which is what is timing it, I guess, um, to make it the pistons pulse every now and again. Basically when the sugar, sugar cane grows to too high, the two observers here, this one will make the piston destroy the sugar cane and this one will send out uh, some pulses. For some reason, I don't know why, but the signal goes here and it makes the pistons pulse twice so they go in and out even though it's only one line of redstone. I don't understand. Science is... yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a mystery. It works is the main thing though. So that's the sugarcane farm. Now, uh, oh, oh yeah, by the way, I know this is horrendously ugly. I'm fully aware of the fact I'm kind of disgusted and I wasn't even going to show you, but kind of need to. <laughs> um, but that's why we're going to hide it away from behind the wall and make it look all plain on the inside and not horribly messy. Uh, similar situation on this side, except these three farms are with villagers. Uh, I cannot remember who designed these farms. It's the one with the, there's like that block in the middle and they, yep, like that. And it's low light level, so they go into a hopper chain there. Uh, same with potatoes over there. And then wheat. Uh, once again, not my design, I'll leave a link. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of links in today's episode, but that farm villager has got an inventory full of seeds, so he's breaking all the wheat and uh, only picking up seeds. And then the minecart goes below and uh, picks everything up. And only about 10 minutes ago did I add that block there. I had uh... <laughs> It was just falling off. I was like, why is the wheat farm not working? Yeah, kind of need that. That's where the... Uh, the rail ends and it was just falling off here and I had no idea so yeah lots of hard work by the villager wasted by me sorry about that Jerry I don't know um, yeah so that's all the farms um, again I really have no idea why I've built this I, I don't need any of this stuff I maybe need pumpkins every now and again for jack-o-lanterns why is somebody's chest light oh it's probably because of the hoppers and I've got torches sporadically placed everywhere yeah, there's another thing I'll need to sort out. I'll do that all off camera. Um, <laughs> and sugar cane. Actually, sugar cane I need every now and again. So I suppose that's not bad, even though that's probably the slowest farm out of the six. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been doing for the past three weeks. Really haven't had much time to play, but uh, I've still just been enjoying doing this every now and again. It, it's been It's been fun. What just happened? <laughs> um, but I think that's pretty much... Oh, no, there is one more thing that I want to show you before I end this episode. Okay, I'm pretty certain this episode is going to be a lot longer than I would usually like them to be, but hey, yeah, we'll have an extra long special for no apparent reason. Uh, so we started this episode off with... Which box is it in? This one? Yes, with this container, February's Spoils container is that it i keep forgetting the name opening i have no idea why i just can't remember <laughs> spoils container uh so we started it with february's and i thought it would be very apt if we end with springs <laughs> uh springs with march so this is what i got um i would read this book but yeah i'm running short on time and i've got a very slow i'm slow at reading so if you want to read which i would highly suggest you do because obney is really good at writing i do enjoy reading these books um but yeah there you go you can just pause and read if you would so desire uh so this is what we got a lot of sand 10 stacks one heart of the sea 16 nautilus shells we can make a what are they called underwater beacon thing i forgot what it's called uh some fish some glowstone which is really nice i don't like getting glowstone uh some saplings that are jungle saplings but they're actually palm trees if you don't know some turtle legs a turtle costume aka a Total shell, um, and a strand disc. I really like the music disc that we get every time. It's, uh, I, I, I like it. I don't have a jukebox, but I probably should get one. Uh, so yeah, that's what we got from March. I had to, uh, pay two more diamond blocks to, uh, renew my membership, which I have done because it is the best service in the world. And, uh, yeah, it's actually really fun for how little you pay. Uh, you actually get quite a bit. I would highly recommend it to any of other you guys on the server that aren't already subscribed to Albany Spoils Container. I'm sorry, Albany, that might just be more work for you. Maybe don't do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long these things take. They'd probably take me a while to put together. Um, anyway, though, guys, that is going to be it. I'm sorry for the length uh, and the kind of 
mesh uh, mix and match up of all the uh clips <laughs> it's it's been a bit of a messy one it's been recorded like over a month uh yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed it though and i will see you in the next episode which is actually one from the past so past me will see you in the future of the next episode this isn't making any sense i'm gonna go thank you for watching bye for now